We're looking at an exhibition of art that has been made in a period of isolation. COVID has been a period of anxiety as we deal with so many unknowns. This worry and anxiety engages our logical way of thinking, but this isn't always constructive as worry turns into anxiety. This is where turning your mind to creative act is very helpful. In this case, painting, but singing, playing music, gardening, or other creative acts engage a different part of your brain. Science tells us that the left part of the brain controls logic and reasoning. The right side of the brain controls creativity and inspiration. When you paint, you take your brain out of logic and worry and instead use your energy towards inspiration. People describe themselves as getting lost in music or absorbed in their painting. This is a very relaxing activity because you forget your worries for a period you emerge refreshed from the creative act. This is also where you'll find inspiration. It's unlikely that you'll be at your most creative when hunched over a budget spreadsheet. But the expression, to have the creative juices flowing, captures the idea that different types of imagination and creativity happen simultaneously. So looking at the images that were made in this exhibition by the young artists, I was struck by the symbols that they turned to. There are lots of abstract images, but also many images of nature and the natural world. Consciously, we can understand trees to mean something long-lived. A tree gives shade and shelter. It gives us oxygen and makes our environment beautiful. But unconsciously, we've also been taught many things about trees. So symbolically, in the unconscious, trees pertain to God and the spiritual, but also to our own fathers. How the tree is represented by the artist can reveal different ways of seeing the world and seeing relationships from the cold of winter to the warmth and fertility of summer. Similarly, we see a lot of stars in these paintings, from the spatter stars of abstraction through to the literal representations of the night sky. And stars can be seen as hopeful points of light, but essentially they are portraits of darkness. They're portraits of the nighttime, and of course this is symbolic. But there is also a hopeful gesture they are looking towards the future, looking towards something hopeful. And that gesture is something that brings together creativity and hope.